Hi everyone, today I would like to introduce this excellent site which is called Build Your Wild Self. This website is excellent to use with your students to create their own avatars with fun animal variations. Now the best part about the site is the fact that you don't have to sign up. You simply start by choosing the human body and then you have the options of uh, clicking on your choices of body parts that resemble animals. So in this case, I would like to choose a girl. I'll do it quickly. There, there are options for me to choose the hair, to change hair, eyes, mouth, clothes, and uh, all sorts of body parts as you can see here. So I'll go with the hair. I'll choose this for the eyes. I'll choose this for the mouth. So students can play with it and choose whatever they feel suitable. Okay. For the head, I'll choose this. Ears. As you can hear, there are also sound effects that resemble the animals that you've chosen. What do I choose? Let's choose this. Okay. Um, I can also choose a tail. Okay, and then when I'm done, I have an option of choosing. And when I'm done, I, can, I have an option of choosing a background or I can a, choose a background from here or I can leave it uh, just like that. When I'm done, I simply write my name here and then I'll go to I'm done. Once I'm done, I have several options. I can read about the wild animals that I've chosen to create um, my wild self. And then I have the option of going back and changing it and editing it. I can send it to a friend. I can get a desktop. I can print it out. I'll choose get a wild desktop because I would like to show you an option. Um, students can print out their creations or they can take a screenshot of this image uh, that they've created. There's also an option of simply clicking on a uh, copy image and be pasting it on a shared uh, Google Docs where students can display their work. Um, and students can do many things using this uh, tool. Here are some ideas. Students can write about their wild selves and explain their choices. They can write about how they are similar to the animals that they have chosen. They can also write a story about it. They can also use Chatterpix app uh, with the image that, uh, that they have created to let the images talk. If you're not familiar with Chatterpix app, feel free to click on uh, the link to the video that I've created about Chatterpix in the description box below. It's also excellent for descriptive uh, writing where students describe the body parts and special features. Another super cool option for this website is to simply uh, print out all of your students' creation and create a display in class of our wild selves and create a gallery. I hope that you find this video uh, helpful. Um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come. Assalamu alaikum, everyone.